In today's video, we're taking a look at my top five tones from the Victory VX100 Super Kraken. So for the uninitiated, the Super Kraken is a 100 watt version of the lunchbox head that bears the same name. And it's ostensibly a two channel amp, but there are actually six individual sounds that are available. So you might think about it as a six channel amp, although it does share an EQ across all the channels. That's really not a problem as we'll find out in just a moment. Now gain one, which you might think of as channel one, is a mid gain, very, very fat sounding British tone. Gain two, is more of a fire breathing, high gain American type sound, but gain one also has a switch to transform it into a really sweet, chimey, clean tone. And on top of this, there's also the preamp focus feature that we can engage on all three of these sounds, taking us up to six. And the preamp focus is basically a discrete FET boost that acts a little bit like a tube screamer, although it does sound a little bit different. It's gonna add a little bit of mid range push and hair her to your playing. Now, ostensibly, this is a metal amp, but it's known as the Victory's kind of metal and modern rock amp. I'm not really that kind of guy. I'm kind of more of a classic rock kind of character. Please don't tell the guys in Blitzkrieg because I do quite like playing with them and I'd rather they didn't find out I wasn't a metal guy, so shush. Um, but anyway, I'm kind of more of a rock kind of character. So I want to talk a little bit about how I use this amp and my favorite tones within, starting with my primary slide tone. Now, we're going to engage gain one for this. Now I use gain one on the clean mode and I crank the gain all the way up full. The reason for this is I actually use a V4 uh, Countess preamp, now known as a V4 Jack preamp, for my really clean, clean, clean tones. So I crank this up for more of a hairy edge of breakup type clean. And adding that preamp focus takes us over the edge into a really sweet slide tone. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Tone number two is again on the clean channel, but it's definitely not a clean sound. We're gonna hit the clean channel, cranked up, but this time without the preamp focus, with a really fat and thick sounding fuzz. In this case, I'm gonna use a Wampler frustration, but any muff type fuzz works beautifully for this particular kind of application. Now, the great thing about the Kraken's clean is the high end is really quite rounded off, and that does wonders for a scratchy and fat and hairy sounding fuzz as you will hear. So tone three is something of a dodge. It's actually two tones, and these are my favorite mid to high gain rhythm tones. Now, the reason I've gone with two is because Kraken users will know that gain two is a really great go-to tone for laying down big slabs of riff. But my favorite tone for this particular type of application, being the rock type character that I am, is gain one with the gain cranked all the way and the preamp focus engaged. It 
has a slightly thicker low end, a slightly looser, uh, maybe more old school kind of sound, although they're both great. So if I was double tracking in the studio, which I do fairly regularly, I'll use one tone on the left side, one tone on the right side, and I'll just kind of mix and match. Now what I will do for this type of playing also is I tend to turn the treble control up just a tiny bit from 12 to about 2 o'clock. Now the EQ controls are crazy powerful on this amp, so set at 12 o'clock everything sounds kind of warm and thick and fat, and just nudging the treble up that little bit gives it a bit of extra hair and bite and clarity in a mix. Let's compare those two sounds now. So it's pretty tough to choose between those two, I'm sure you'll agree, so I'm going to throw them both in as Tone 3. Now Tone 4 is sticking with the same Gain 1 sound, this time with the controls again up at 12 o'clock, the bass rolled back just slightly, that's more to taste than anything else, but this time we're going to use it to create kind of a fuzz lead sound. Now there's a bunch of great fuzzes that I like to throw at this channel, but I'm going to use an Electro Harmonix Octavix for this example, because it's a really spitty and unpredictable sounding octave fuzz, it doesn't always grab all the notes you play, it's really good fun, it's quite unpredictable, and it has this really cool, uh, again, kind of like searing octave that just kind of comes in when it wants to almost. It's really quite hard to predict and that is part of the fun of fuzz. Now the great thing about this channel is because it's so smooth on the top end, so round in the lows and low mids, it does a great job of smoothing out this type of fuzz pedal to make it appropriate for lead type playing. Let's take a listen. Which brings us to tone number five, and this is going to be my principal lead tone. And this is the tone that originally sold me on this amplifier. It's gain two, with everything at 12 o'clock, sometimes I'll roll the bass back just a little bit, but we are hitting it with the preamp focus, and for a bit of extra secret sauce, I'm using a Sur Cocoa Boost just ever so gently. It's at nine o'clock on the low mid setting, just to add a little bit of extra vocal quality, not that the amp really needs it, but it's just something that I really like to stack on top of this amp to get that really great searing, singing lead tone, and it just gives us a little bit of extra gain and saturation too. Let's take a listen with Humbuckers, and then as a bonus, we're going to take a listen to the Silver Sky, because this tone does equally well with hums and with single coils. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there you go, guys. That's been my top five tones from Victory's VX100 Super Kraken. And while this is ostensibly the heavy metal amplifier in the range, there are a whole rainbow of gain tones available within, from edge of breakup right the way through to singing, soaring lead tones. So if you're a rocker like myself, or you're just somebody that values versatility, you really got to check one of these out. My name's Nick Jennison. I'll see you next time.